Well, hi, Kristen Harlock. Thank you for joining me. I want my audience to know that Fane Dangle correspondent, Kristen Harlock, he's going to talk about Star Wars. What else is there to talk about now? Kristen, tell me what everything you know about Star Wars, but you only have four minutes. Oh, man, I can tell you that I am super excited, and I have become eight years old again. My dad took me to see Star Wars when I was younger. I fell in love with movies because of Star Wars, and then we get told in 2012, Star Wars is coming back. J.J. Abrams, who is an ultimate Star Wars fan, he is directing this movie. And not only that, who else do we get? We get Luke Skywalker's coming back, Han Solo's coming back, Princess Leia's coming back, and then a brand new generation of fans and new characters also come back to show us this universe and this world that we love, that pop culture has fallen in love with. What we should know about this movie is that it is going to just transport us into the world that that make why we love movies. So I cannot wait for the Force Awakens. I like I'm wearing my I'm wearing my Stormtrooper shirt right now to to show the support uh, and love for what this movie has done for me, being a movie fan. Okay, you, you talked a little bit about newcomers. Who are some of those newcomers that are going to be on our screen? You got John Boyega, um, who plays the character of Finn. You have Brand. I mean, you talk about newcomer, Daisy Ridley, who this is really like her first big studio film. She plays the character of Ray. The amazing actor, Oscar Isaac, who has been around, you, you, you probably you recognize him from just Oscar appearances and stuff, things that he has done. Uh, and then Gwendolyn Christie from Game of Thrones. She's in it. Donald Gleason. There's so many newcomers and brand new characters and they're, they're not necessarily household names and that's what Star Wars has always done. You remember Harrison Ford and Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, they were not recognized when they did these movies and now you, you say their names and you know who they are and I think that will be the case with the newcomers. Why are you guys so excited? I watch Star Wars and I think it's a good movie and no. all that kind of stuff but <laughs> you know, there's excitement in my studios, you've got excitement. What's this thing that has been able to hold you guys to it? I, it's a great question and one that I get a lot. It's like, why why Star Wars? What? Is, my wife says it to me. She's like, I get it, it's, but isn't it just a movie? It does so much more than be just a movie because it does. It just takes you into this place. Uh, it's, it's what George Lucas did in 1977. What he was able to do, and you have to remember what the landscape of film was like in 77. It was very, it was very dreary when you had movies such like Chinatown and all these movies that were coming out that were more film noir type movies. And then you get a movie like Star Wars, this fantasy film, and showing what you can do and what is, is transcend as far as special effects and story and taking classic fables. And it has continued to do that. The rich history and characters and the worlds that they create, it's just fascinating. And nothing else in movie history has done what Star Wars has done. Well, this is, as you said earlier, this is a new generation of Star Wars, because from what I'm understanding, George Lucas is not associated with this film. I guess they just bought the name from him or something. And now you've got J.J. Abrams. Yes, J.J. Abrams, who is a fan. And what Disney purchased the Star Wars name and franchise from George Lucas in 2012. And now the, the Lucasfilm, which was, was his company, they now own, and J.J. Abrams was brought in as a director to develop the story with a screenwriter, Lawrence Kasdan, who actually wrote The Empire Strikes Back, which is my favorite Star Wars film of all time. And they're collaborating as well. And so it is, it's really it's the age where the Star Wars fan is making the Star Wars movie. So I, I like I like that idea. You've got a young or a seasoned director, but he's still young, J.K. Yeah, yeah, Abrams. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So so basically, you know, you guys get to pull in a whole new generation, but still pull in the previous generation of fans. I think that's brilliant marketing, right. personally. Yeah, it makes it a lot is. of sense. Well, I see the excitement that you have. Okay, so when are we going to be able to see this Star Wars that you guys keep talking about? Well, Star Wars itself opens up December 18th. There'll be some midnight showings and early shows, I think, on the, se on the 17th as well. I am lucky enough that I'm able to go. I'm going to the premiere of Star Wars The Force Awakens on Monday the 14th. So I will be transported as a 8-year-old kid, again, going there, looking around, going, Oh, my goodness, that's Mark Hamill. So it's, it's going to be something. It's an early Christmas present for me me, but everyone will be able to go see the movie on the 18th. It's shattering records, as it should. It's, it's, it's going to be a movie that's going to be around in the headlines for a while now. Well, I would love to talk to you post after you go and see Absolutely. if you grew up any. 
this has been very nice to talk with you, Chris, and to try and understand the excitement. There's so much buzz in my studios about Star Wars. Everybody can't wait. So I know they're doing this on the entire planet. Oh, they Thank are. you, Christian Harloff from Fandango, for talking about what else? Star Wars. Thank you, Valder. I appreciate it. My joy. Thank you.